Um, coming back to Formula One, I think uh, the main main reason was that I never really l lost the passion in in racing in Formula One, but maybe all the all the other things around it. But uh, when I did some NASCAR races this year in in states and. Uh, I was start to miss more and more the racing side to to race against each other because in the rally you race against the uh, clock really so that's what I'm was missing and then all really I got a call from from certain people in Formula One and then all sorts of things happen and then in the end uh, we managed to have a have a nice uh, conversation with uh, with a lot of Renault uh, and then uh, end up to. To making a deal with them, so I'm uh, I'm very happy with that. Um, really, I mean, there was two options. It was uh, was was this team or the Williams, and in the end, uh, everything worked out with the Lotus Renault GP uh, as we wanted. So that's really the reason. Um, I mean, I haven't followed the Formula last year. I didn't follow much at all. This year, I've been following a bit more Formula One and. Uh, but not really any specific team. And uh, okay, now last race I saw the last 20 laps of the Brazilian Grand Prix, and because uh, I knew that it's going to happen now, so I, I, I watch how how the team did. But uh, I mean, before I I didn't know anything about that it's going to happen, and uh, that, that that deal will happen in Formula One uh, or for the next year. So I just watch overall Formula One and uh, see some races, but nothing special really. Um, I think the tires uh, for for comparing to 2009 and now coming coming to the next year, the biggest difference will be the tires probably. Uh, the cars, I don't think it's a whole lot difference. Uh, the RS um, is a new thing, but it's basically similar one button thing than it was in the front wing before. And that has the appeared, so now it's the rear wing. So, uh, really, the main main difference is the tyres, I would guess. Um, I don't know if I'm a better or not. I mean, I've been away for a few years. I haven't I haven't driven. The, I haven't even sit in the Formula One car since the last race in in 2009. And um, I mean, it will be interesting to get back in the car, but. Uh, I'm a few years older now, and uh, nothing, nothing else has changed really. Uh, been really, really nice last few years uh, in the rally. Try to learn it. It's been, uh, it's been difficult some days, and uh, it's been easier this year than it was last year. But it's still, it's, uh, it's very difficult sport. But uh, I'm really looking forward to come back, and at least Formula One is something that I, I know how, how, how everything works, and. Uh, I've been there for many years. Like when I went to rally, I didn't really know what what will happen there. When I went to NASCAR, I had no clue what how it will be. So, in that way, it should be much much easier to come back, and uh, it should be pretty normal. Yeah, the training side. I mean, I've been training all the time for the rally, but of course, it's not so physical. It's more the days. Uh, it's the whole week that you sit in sit in the car in uh, in the rally, and in Formula One, it's more physical and more short time. So, um, yeah, I I started uh, like a month ago to back in uh, in the proper training for Formula One. So, I mean, the neck is the most uh, most difficult thing to get ready, but uh, we still have plenty of time, so it will not be an issue. Um, I mean, like, uh, if I think that race is probably I was thinking a completely different thing than, than the racing on those, th those days, but uh, especially in the last race. But uh, I mean, for sure I remember all the, all the braking and, uh, and how, how quick everything happens. So comparing to uh, say a rally, you have a slightly more time, but then in the rally you don't have, uh, it doesn't give, give you a second chance when you make a mistake. Uh, you go off, there is no runoff areas and there's a tree or a or, or big ditch. So in, in Formula One, this says you have a lot of runoff areas and you can run a bit wide and it's not such a big deal. You lose a lap in, in the practice or in qualifying, but uh, in the race you maybe don't even lose a place. So. Uh, for sure, the braking distance, the, the G forces, uh, the acceleration, those will those will come very quickly back. So we should, I mean, just the, the biggest thing for sure will be to to get the neck 
make use to it again. But uh, but this, all the rest, I think it takes a while. But it's not a big big thing really. Uh, I wouldn't come back if I wouldn't be motivated. So uh, there's always a lot of talk about the motivation, and uh, but nobody really knows what I do or what I think apart from myself. So I don't really care what people say, but. Uh, I'm. Um, I enjoy to come back. I wouldn't put my my name in a, in a contract if I wouldn't think that I really enjoy it. So, it will be interesting and will be exciting to to get back.